Let's talk a little bit about collision setup. For this, we're going to use the Alice model in 3D Studio Max. So what we'll do is we'll select the growth mesh for the ponytail, and we'll go to our modifier stack, hair works. And as a reminder, we want to make sure that the bones that are used in our skinning envelope for the growth mesh are the same ones used for the actual model. So if we go over to our model, we can see it uses clavicle, left, right, head, neck, and spino 3. We want to make sure our growth mesh uses those, um, at least a subset of those, um, because if the collision shape is set to a bone um, that is not on the base skin mesh, then it won't have anything to attach to in the game, and it'll just be left floating to the side. So with our HairWorks modifier selected, what we're going to do is go and bring in some shapes based on selected skin bones. So we're going to bring in clavicle left, right, head, and neck. In our case, we really don't need the spine for this. Okay, and if I go on the wireframe view, you can see there are some spheres that have been placed at the pivot points for these bones. So we'll go ahead and start with the head. Now for the sake of being organized, I'm going to go ahead and rename this head base. So this is the, the name of my shape. And I'm going to go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger. And what we want to do is just keep, keep the ponytail from colliding with the main piece of hair in the head. So we'll just kind of come around this area here, a little bit bigger, and then we'll come in a little bit. We're not really worried about the top of the ponytail intersecting with the head because we're going to have a little bit more stiffness up here to keep the shape of the ponytail so it's very unlikely to collide with the top of the head. So we really just need to worry about the base, the neck, and the shoulders. Okay, so we'll say that's a pretty good representation, so we'll move on to the neck. Come up just a little bit, we'll move it back. And let's go ahead and set up the left clavicle so we can get our shoulder. And these are all local transforms based on the bone's orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and copy some of this stuff to the right clavicle. And so we're going to flip this one. There we go. So now we've got our spheres in place. And much like with Apex Clothing, uh, we can connect these spheres to get a series of uh, tapered capsules, per se. So the first connection is going to be from the base head to the neck. So I'll select the from and the two bone and add that connection. And then the next connection is going to be from the neck to each clavicle. So neck to clavicle left, and neck to clavicle right. And then just to help get this area right here, we can go ahead and connect the two clavicles. So now I've got our list of connections. And just like with the, with the sphere, with the shapes, we can rename our connections if we want to get a little bit more organized if you've got a whole lot of connections. And now if we wanted, we could go ahead and turn off the display of those shapes. And we can go ahead and uh, export our ponytail. After importing your asset into the HairWorks viewer, you can enable collision by turning on the capsule collision checkbox in the collision frame of the physical attributes. You can visualize this with the collision capsules visualizer.